Hi, I'm Sally Thibault. And in this video today, we're going to be tapping on those days when everything just seems stacked against you. You know, have you had those days or maybe weeks <laughs> where you, you've got all the intentions in place, you seem to be moving forward, but just seems that everything seems stacked against you. So we're going to be tapping on that and um, focusing on what the feeling is. So whether that's frustration, annoyance, anger, get to what the feeling is, where you feel it in your body, in your head, in your heart, in your solar plexus. And when we're tapping, try and remember if this is, this is a pattern where, you know, you almost get close to achieving what you want, but think something pulls back. There'd be a pattern there. There'll be something that's happened in the past that's created this. And that's what's really important in tapping. Remember, we need to get to what those patterns are to, to really clear it. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to tap to get that frustration down, lower that cortisol so you can think more clearly. Because when, when you we're in high stress or you're frustrated or, or anxious, you just can't see the opportunities that present themselves. And that's what tapping is so good for. And then in the reframe round, I'm going to do something really special. So uh, uh, we're going to be, I'll wait for that, keep that a secret. All right, so I want you now on a scale of one to 10 to measure what the feeling is when you're feeling like everything is stacked against you. What does it feel like? And where do you feel it? Okay, and let's tap. Even though it feels like everything is stacked against me, I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel even though I seem to be doing all the right things, but everything just seems stacked against me. I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Even though right now, it just, everything feels like it's stacked against me. I'm trying as much as I can but nothing seems to be moving forward. I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Here we go. This frustration, everything seems stacked against me. I know what I want. I'm doing all the right things, but everything seems stacked against me. This frustration, so frustrated, Everything just feels stacked against me. This frustration, I'm doing all the right things. Why is this happening? It feels like everything is stacked against me. I'm doing all the right things. It feels so frustrating. Everything feels stacked against me. And it feels so frustrating. Take a deep breath and let it go. Now see if that frustration has come down a little bit. Also, did it bring up any patterns? Things in the past that you remember, you know, sort of roadblocks or everything feeling like it was stacked against you. Was there a pattern there? That's what we need to get to in tapping, of course, is where this pattern started, what happened. Um, these videos, again, only take that edge off the emotion, but you really need to get to the story. Okay, now we're going to do a reframe round. This is um, yeah, something a little bit special. I'm often asked the difference between giving up and surrendering. And when everything feels like it's stacked against you and you've done all the right things, the art of being able to surrender to, uh, to a power far greater than us allows the opportunities to begin to flow, the ideas, the thoughts, the intuition. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to reframe to allow yourself to surrender. If you feel like you're doing all the right things, everything's stacked against you, but you're ready to just allow things to flow into your life, that's the difference. All right, here we go. Even though it feels like everything is stacked against me, and sometimes I feel like giving up, but I'm gonna allow myself to surrender to the possibilities. Even though Sometimes when things are stacked against me, I do feel like giving up, but I'm going to allow myself to surrender to the possibilities. Even though sometimes it feels like everything's stacked against me, I choose now to open my heart and my mind and surrender to the possibilities. 
go tapping. I surrender to the possibilities. I open my heart and my mind to see and feel the messages that come. I choose to be open-minded. I choose to surrender to the possibilities. Perhaps I need to get out of my own way. I choose to open my heart and my mind and surrender to all possibilities. I forgive myself for putting the blocks up and I choose to open my heart and my mind to all possibilities. I choose to surrender and stop trying to run the show. I'm so grateful for the opportunities that flow in my life. Feeling the power of surrender. Just knowing things will start to flow. I am on the right path. I choose to surrender to the possibilities. Okay, take a deep breath and let it go. Okay, hands on your hips now. I want you to really just ground this in. So if you're sitting or standing, I want you to imagine your heart opening up and just seeing surrendering to the possibilities. This isn't giving up. This is saying, you know what? I open my heart and my mind to all possibilities. I'm going to stop trying to run this show. Opportunities exist. I'm going to allow my intuition and my own feminine power to take over right here and right now. I open my heart to all possibilities and I choose to surrender to the opportunities. Take a deep breath and let it go. Let me know how you go in the comment blocks. And if you're having trouble perhaps understanding the difference between giving up, surrendering, pop me a note and I'll explain a little bit more. Have a great day. Talk soon. Bye for now.